Hey everybody, it's Tom. Welcome back to another Tech Ed Create vlog. I'm here today to talk to you about something that has come up quite often over the past few years as I've worked in education. Us techs tend to get a little bit of a bad rap. We tend to be viewed as somebody who sits in the basement, or which unfortunately I am right now, um, hides in the corner, becomes a little bit of an antisocial, isn't getting out and seeing people and getting things resolved the way they should. This is something that has occurred not only just because it's a stigma of being in tech, but it's also occurred because of the way that teachers have learned to deal with their issues over time because they haven't wanted to talk to the tech people perhaps, or perhaps because they just haven't had time to deal with it. The communication barrier between tech ed, ed tech, and the teachers has to be a consistent one. Recently, we've come across a problem here at our school where we've had some major network issues. I got an email or a ticket assigned to me from one teacher saying that he was having such slowness in the morning, he couldn't do anything, it was really affecting the way he was teaching. So I was going through and working with this teacher, trying to make sure that I could figure out what was wrong with his laptop because it was only one teacher saying it, so I had started my progression of how I was gonna go through and troubleshoot this. Work with the laptop, see if there was something there. Go to the access point, see if there was something wrong there. Follow along the line to the switch, to the firewall, to the internet, so on and so forth. I had gotten through most of this point where I had worked with the laptop. We had found that it was happening with two laptops in his room. We started looking at the access point, upgraded the controllers for the wireless. Everything seemed to not, everything we did, it didn't really resolve the problem. We continued to see issues with his wireless. I come in in the morning on a Monday morning and I start getting a bunch of other people walk up to me in the hall. Hey, what's been going on with the wireless? Why have we been having so many problems? Did you put in a ticket? I, I didn't know these things were a problem until you jumped up and, and yelled at me now and said, hey, we've got a problem going on. This is a, a little bit of an issue that we have within our tech side because if you don't tell me something's going on, if someone doesn't call me up and say, hey, we, we're having this problem with the wireless, if I don't get a bunch of tickets in there saying we're having wireless in this building issues, we're having it across the district, I don't know that it's a massive outage. I don't know that it's affecting the whole system as compared to one person. So finally, as we go through now, I can say, oh my God, I looked at the firewall and we're cranking up on our CPU because uh, the, the, uh, the scans were, were, weren't set up necessarily correctly. So we have to go through and reset. That's not the hard part about it. Fixing the issue is not the hard part once we know where to look where the issue is. Uh, it's just making sure that we know what's going on with the issue. So what's the first thing I did? I sent out an email to everyone and said, hey, I need to make sure that we're communicating about this because now that I see that there's an issue, I can go back and resolve it. I tend to be a very verbal person, as you can tell as I'm doing a vlog post here. Uh, so everyone knows that I, I'm, I'm ready to communicate. I want to talk. I want to be able to let you know what's going on. And I want to know what's going on with you so I can make sure we're outfitting the right uh, hardware to meet your needs, as well as to make sure that we are doing the correct things to give access to the students and, and giving you access to the services you need. So uh, last year when I was standing up in front of one of our schools, uh, I, I made uh, a little bit of a bold statement for them. And uh, basically I stood up in front of the whole school and I said, look, I know things have historically tend to suck for you guys, but I don't want things to suck just because they've always sucked. We need to stop making things suck and just complaining that things suck and start moving forward. Now, I get it. That was a little bit crude and it was a little bit strange to hear that. It got a laugh out of the audience, which made sure I knew that they were listening to what I said. Does it always work? No. Unfortunately, people get a little bit set in their ways and they don't always have time to deal with these things. But when you have a free moment, I always hear, oh, well, they can't put in a ticket right now because they're teaching. I get that. But if it's that big of an issue, you're going to remember it. So when you have a lunch period or after school, put in a ticket to your friendly help desk staff and say, look, we're having this major problem in this room. Can somebody please come look at it? And I get it. The technicians need to do their part too. We need to be diligent on our side to make sure that we're seeing everything that's going on with you and to uh, make sure that not only is everything resolved and that you are working the way you expect to be working, 
but that we follow up with you and we make sure that it continues to work correctly and we continue to share in a great experience to make sure that you and your students are getting uh, everything they've dreamed of out of uh, their networking uh, in your classroom. So, so that's it for this week. Please make sure you communicate with your Friendly Help Desk staff and Friendly Help Desk staff. Please make sure you're following up and communicating with the staff so that they know what's going on, so they know what they can expect as they go forward. We'll see you next time.